So what's going on, guys? I have Richard here with me. Richard, say hello. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Cool, cool. So, Richard, why don't you tell everybody, you know, where you're from, what you do, and, uh, you know, a little bit about yourself, man. Yeah, so um, my name is Richard Pacheco. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I own a web development and e-commerce development firm out of Cleveland called High Caliber Visuals. We've been in business for a little over a year now. Been basically a sole entrepreneur until the last six months when I've been really trying to scale my business and really grow it to something bigger than what I can expect. And um, we've been doing pretty good for the last couple of months, especially once I teamed up with Mike to learn more about sales scripting, sales processes, lead generation, and kind of learning how to read, write, and relay content to prospective customers and leads and then be able to convert them into customers when on the phone with them. Okay. Okay. And like you, you, you went through a couple other programs, correct? Yes. Yeah. I went through two other programs. And, and how, how were the results with them? So the one program was more based on web design and web agency scaling, trying to generate leads and different avenues that are more tailored to just web development firms and web design firms. And it was really slow at first for that one, but then it helped me get a couple leads. I was getting a couple phone calls a day. And um, I mean, the results were so-and-so. And And then there was another one based on like Facebook content writing and then doing a little more on like, more like on sales funnels and whatnot. And it didn't really help me out too much. And those are just the only two other courses that I've tried out so far. Okay. And what's, what's the reason you decided to start working with us? So one of the big factors was your name and your interviews and your reputation. You know, I, w- I saw you on um, the one guy's episode who has, does a lot of YouTube videos. The guy with the dark hair, curly oh, hair. Onyx and yeah. Gall. Yeah, I've used to watch all of his YouTube videos, especially when before becoming a business owner, him and Grant Cardone. And then once I actually saw that you were on there, I was like, oh, wow, this guy, Mike, it must be the real deal. So that's one thing that was like, you know, if he's on that show, he must be doing something right. So that was definitely one. And then just the way that you like talk about yourself and your business and your ad spend, you have results to actually showcase what you're doing. You know, you're not one of those guys who's handling twenty five, fifty thousand dollars in ad spend across, you know, ten different clients. You're handling millions of dollars in ad spend a month. And, you know, if you can do it on that scale, I'm sure I can learn how to do it on my scale to hopefully do, you know, fifty thousand dollars in ad spend a month to really grow my business to a multi million dollar e commerce development firm. Okay. And then what what have been so you've been in the in the in the program for what, like a week and a half, I believe? Was it two weeks? Yeah, I'd say a week and a half. It was like the first week of January. Okay. And then how, how, how much new business have you brought on since then? <laughs> I've brought in a ton of new business. So just, just by following your like sales script and the way that you talk about closing people on the phone, you know, being more sales oriented and de- delivering value, delivering case studies and kind of really connecting with the client, I was able to bring in close to $45,000 in business just from your techniques in the last week and a half and I'm only about 25% through your course. And then what did, so a lot of that had to do with how we restructured your packages, right? Yeah. A lot of it was restructuring the packages and then just working with Sajin on actually like working on my content, my flow, my case studies. And the case studies was a huge thing. Once I started throwing in like case studies, like over the phone, like I was trying to relate to the, to relate to the client more kind of sell them on the value that I can add to their business from what they're not doing now to what against to what their competitors doing, like selling a little bit on ego. It really helped me just be able to demand to the demand more money and then close them on the spot and then get money in right away instead of, you know, going back and forth and following up with the client. You know, I really delivered a lot of value to them and they wanted to work with me right away. Okay. So, so you did, you you did 45,000 so far this month. And then what, what did you do last month? Like what, what, what was your average before that? Last month was a decent month to me and I did like 12K. So 12K. So 45K is your highest month by far. Then. My highest month by far, yes. Okay, cool. And so like what was your biggest fear um, before joining and like what, you know, if somebody was, was watching this right now, like what, what would you tell them? 
So one of my biggest fears, to be upfront and honest, was that it was going to be the same old thing. Because, you know, I signed up for two different courses. I thought, you know, maybe there's some sort of course out there that someone's selling to get everyone to join some sort of mentorship program. And, you know, I was like, you know, you know, it's definitely worth a shot just to see, just to see what kind of value that I can get out of it. And then just to see, like, if the course was actually going to live up to my expectations. But your daily calls, the way that you're so reachable – and that was another big thing. I was afraid you weren't going to be too reachable. I thought you were going to have someone else kind of out there just to respond to my emails, text, and call me too. But you are you respond back to me within minutes every time I text you or every time I need something. That was another big concern. But, uh, I mean, it, it exceeded my expectations by far. Just the live training calls, the way you take a one-on-one -on -one approach, and then your content within your membership program is great. Like, I love it. I go through it all the time, and especially, like, the breakdown that you have on all your Google Sheets and how they're easily accessible – that's another huge factor because sometimes I like to go back and kind of go back through my notes or go back on whatever we went through on the call and then to really dive down and break it down to make it my own. And that's what I've been doing a lot with my, my content writing that I've been working on last week and my case studies and all the content that I'm going to do for my ads as well. Okay. And if, if anybody was on the fence with working with us, you know, let's say they're watching this, um, you know, they received an email or they're watching retargeting. What, what, what would you say to them? I would say that Mike really does know what he's talking about when it comes to relating and grabbing people's attention with Facebook ads, click funnel ads, the whole nine yards, even just sales scripting and phone call sales too, especially just being able to close on the phone and just learning from you just gave me a lot of confidence on the phone to be able to replicate what you do and make it my own. Cool. Well, I, I appreciate you jumping on for us with us and uh, we'll uh, take it from there. Of course. Thank you so much, Mike. I really appreciate it.